It's your first time here, isn't it? It's first time. I've been loving it today. The weather's been nice. Cooler breeze, all that stuff. Hopefully the rain doesn't come. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen some of the onions and things yes. on the tea? Tell us about that. I took a picture next to the onion today. <laughs> Hopefully no rain will come. For those of you that don't know, it's there's basically three onions stacked up with a chili, yes. and that's meant to be the, the weather doctor, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's supposed to keep away bad juju. Okay, so we'll see yeah. about that. It's working so far. <laughs> like garlic with the vampires. <laughs> It's a good one. Um, firstly, we just got to talk about your 2023 because you opened up the year with your first win on the LPGA in Thailand, didn't yes. you? Yes, yes, I did. I think I got a good momentum from playing the Saudi Ladies International. Oh, yeah, I one. finished top three there and then I just had that momentum going in. I started the season with no expectations because I put a lot of pressure on myself last year mm -hmm. to win. And then this year I just trusted that I would win and just let it happen. Don't think about the how and just do it. Well, it's certainly happened because you didn't get one major. You got yourself two, haven't you? Yes, yeah. It's been a crazy year, but I don't know. I'm just very grateful for everything in my life. Okay. Well, it's amazing to think because the people who have just kind of kept tabs on your career this year, yes. they would have no idea that you wanted to pack it all in, what, in 2020 or something like that? Yeah, 2020, right after my rookie season on LPGA, it was really rough. I played on the Epson tour and I wasn't even near making a cut and so yeah I think COVID really helped me reflect on how I looked at golf and just readjust to having fun on the golf course I know it sounds so cliche I say it all the time but once I was able to create a team around me that helped me have fun then it just all came together. It's so interesting to listen to and really really inspiring because there'll be so many other professional golfers in in that situation back in 2020. Yes. What advice would you give to them? Just keep up, don't give up because I was ready to give up, but my mom was like, no, I know you're good enough. Keep trying. And then I just changed my mindset. So just keep positive and don't take everything too seriously. And for every problem, there's a, situ there's a, you know, you can solve it. So yeah, it's yeah. solvable. Well, we speak about having fun. I believe you're going to do just that in January because you're going to go on your first girls holiday, aren't you? Yes, I know. It's so exciting. Yeah, we've been texting about it and we're, I'm just ready to go on a trip without my golf clubs <laughs> for once. I bet they're looking forward to having you. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. The girls are really looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll enjoy. Enjoy the golf for now and then enjoy your beach time. Yeah, thank you. I will. <laughs>